In this video, we will discuss the following. AIMS What is the relationship of AIMS in training? So, AIMS are the overall statements of what you hope in a training event that you will be going to achieve. So, in AIMS, it can improve the individual's level of awareness. Also, it can increase an individual's skills in one or more areas of expertise and also it can increase an individual's motivation to perform their job well. Goal Goal is having a specific goal. This is a goals are markers to checkpoint to claim your finished goal to aim. Objective What is objective? Objective is a process to achieve your goal. Objective is a step that you need to do every day or a routine to your everyday life to achieve your goal. For example, your goal is to have a fit and healthy body, so you need to exercise and eat healthy foods to achieve the body that you desire. Principles of Training Fit The fit principles are an exercise prescription to help participants understand how long and how hard they should exercise. Fit principle helps you create a workout plan that will be more effective in reaching your fitness goals. Fit stands for frequency, intensity, time, and type. These four elements is your need to think about to create workouts that fit for your goals and fitness level. Using the big principle gives you a straightforward guideline for revising and improving any workout plan. Specificity The specificity principle states that training should be specific, not general or not random. Your training should target adaptations that are beneficial for your sports or other goals. Seek relevance or use adaptation in all systems as well as in movement patterns and technical aspects. Progressive overload. So, progressive overload doing gradually increase the weight. Frequency or the numbers of repetition in your strength training routine. So, although uh, progressive uh, overload is usually used in strength training, can be applied to any type of exercise including uh, cardiovascular endurance exercise like running. Example is uh, increased running distance. So first week, you can run 10 minutes in the morning twice a week. Week 2, you run 20 minutes in the morning twice a week. And week 3, you run 230 to 50 minutes twice a week. So you can see the changes and progress in your exercise. As long as your body can handle it, you can keep increasing your exercise until you achieve your goal. So, uh, be careful to avoid overtraining. Rest and recovery. Rest and recovery. When we say rest and recovery, rest is characterized by the mix of rest and time. While recovery is characterized by activities and methods executed to boost our body maintenance. Rest and recovery is fundamental, especially when you love um, doing sports, doing exercises, and training, and so on. Um, after this sort of action, we need to rest, um, to loosen up our body, and to fix our muscles. muscles. Um, the example are sleeping, hydration, nutrition, and stretching. Because sleeping is the best and um, the most important time to recover or to rest our body. And hydration. Um, drinking an adequate amount of water is critical to our health. Uh, um, also in our energy and to our recovery and to our performance. Um, nutrition because everything we eat has an ability to help our body to recover. And stretching because we need enough flexibility to move and will remain the pain to make the pain go away. Variation Variation A change or difference in condition, amount, or level typically with certain limits. When planning a training program, it is important to add variety in terms of activities, locations, training partners, in training competitions, and many more. Individual needs. So let's discuss the individual needs. With regard to the person's existing fitness level, the wants and the requirements that are particular to them should be taken into account. 
age, sex, disability, and injury are some of these. All athletes are different. Training must be related to the athlete's age and gender, their injury status and fitness level. Any training that fails to be relevant to the individual will fail to motivate the athlete and will prove to be unsuccessful in the long term. Adaptation Adaptations involve either remodeling of tissue or altered regulation of the central nervous system. The outcome of exercise induced adaptations depends on the type of exercise, but either makes the muscle more resistant to fatigue, to stronger, more powerful, or better coordinated 